Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, let's make a survival tin candle box. Stay tuned. So what exactly is a candle box? Well, it's based on a Civil War design. Of course, the Civil War was fought here in the United States between 1861 and 1865, and a lot of Men gave their lives, of course, for a very great cause, but uh, there are a lot of items that they used back then that were very simple, very easy to make. And so I got this idea actually looking at this Altoids box. And uh, I like Altoids, a lot of people do. You can buy these, I guess, pretty well around the world, a lot of areas. But uh, like many of you, I hate to throw these tins away. So I got this idea, wanted to share it with you all and uh, let's get started. So to do this project you just need a very few simple tools. Uh, first of all of course you need an Altoids tin and uh, this is just the standard large size. Then a screwdriver. This is a Phillips head. A length of wire. This is uh, about nine inches or so. Then uh, a nail. This is just a standard, you could use a 16 penny nail. A small bolt, this is a quarter inch bolt with a Phillips head on it and it also has the nut and washer with it. A candle, this is just a standard tapered candle that I bought at Walmart. And then last but not least, trying to keep it warm in my pocket here, but uh, you're going to want some uh, thread locker. This is just the uh, yeah the blue. This is medium strength. Keep that in my pocket. All right. So you're going to need one other thing. You're going to need a multi-tool uh, or just a pair of needle nose pliers. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is we're going to take the end here and we want to make a loop with it. So just very simply take it and and you don't want a really tight loop, but just something like that. And again, that is for our little bolt to go into. So we will have to probably adjust that a little here and there. But you just want to kind of work with it a little bit and uh, get that into somewhat of a, of a circle. So kind of like that, you can see. All right. And then the other thing we do is want to open up the tin. And uh, I'm going to use it this way. And I'm going to be putting the hole right here in this side and it's going to fasten in like this so what I need to do is I need to figure out how long this is and I can see here that if I want this to go inside because this is going to pivot and it needs to be not any longer than this outside so then what I need to do is I need to bend this around something and I can start it with my fingers. Now this is just electrical wire. You can use the ground wire. Uh, actually this is uh, just, I stripped the outside off. This is a 12 gauge wire from uh, just a wiring uh, piece of wire actually from the uh, project I did some time ago. So you can take this and I'm just going to use this candle and I'm going to go around it this way and you can keep these coils together. As you can see I'm just going around it and I'm going to use all the wire. And what's nice about it doing this way is you can you can adjust these coils however you need to. And I'm going to slide it off. Lay the candle down and that's what we have right there. So you can essentially see that's what it looks like. And so this is going to fasten down inside here and it's going to pivot. All right. So now what I need to do is I'm going to take these coils and I'm going to spread them out a little bit. I'm going to open it up and make it a little taller, like this. I'm going to pull on them. So kind of like that. I need to make sure that this section here, you can see where it's not quite rounded. I'm going to take the pliers. I'm going to go ahead and bend that on around. Make sure that that fits inside that circle. You can see it like that. And again, you can play with this wire. It's a soft copper wire. It's very easy to adjust. All right, so the next thing we're going to do 
we're going to go in here we're going to see right about where this needs to go and I can see that it needs to be about right there with the hole and so I'm going to take the nail keep that open take the nail and I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to make a hole right in that area I'm going to push down so I know where it is make a little scratch all right now it's just a simple matter of nailing this nail. I'm just going to use a screwdriver handle. It's not a hammer, but it will work. All right, it's always a little difficult to show this on camera. So, all right, we're just going to nail that on through, just like that. Pretty easy to nail through. And then I'm going to pull up on this, like that, and then wiggle it around the nail to kind of open the hole up. All right. Now what we have a nice little hole here now this has some sharp edges and so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take the multi-tool and I'm going to press these edges down and I'll get back with you when I get done with that just push this down so it's not so jagged and sharp okay so we got the hole made and we have the little screw put in here this is just a small pan head screw so that it can fit flush up against the bottom and I went ahead and did a test fit uh, just to make sure that the nut and everything would fit on there right. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and uh, insert our little coil in there. Just put it in like this and we can see that it's a pretty good fit. Go ahead and put the little washer on top and then we're going to fasten it down a nut. Again, this isn't rocket science. This is a very simple thing. We'll caution you though, be careful what you work over because some of this stuff is it, uh, it's easy to drop. And it's kind of chilly out here, so my, my fingers are cold. All right. There we go. Now all I'm going to do is hold this with the pliers and then I'm going to tighten this down. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, now I want to make sure that this is going to open right. Now I've got this pretty tight, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this back up and we're going to put some thread locker on it. Alright, get this out of our pocket. I'm keeping it warm. Put just a little bit of this on here. Don't need a whole lot. And then put the nut back on it and tighten it down. Now we don't have to make it really very tight because once the thread locker locks in there, it's going to be pretty secure, but it, it's the medium strength, so if I need to take it apart or adjust it later, I can. Alright, so there we go. Alright, now, what you want to do is you want to adjust this so that it helps kind of become the third leg, so that it will set like, like this. And then you want to take the bottom of the coil, right here, and you want to twist it like that. So it becomes the bottom because you need something for the candle to slide in and sit on like so. All right. So there we have it. And uh, now the only thing we have to do is we have to take this candle and it's too long. But also we want to make sure that uh, it'll fit inside of here and slide down in, in our coil. So you just basically what you want to do is you want to pick about how long you think it's going to be and I say want it about about that long and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to break it and break it just like that all right here we go now we've got that broken there is of course a piece of string holding that on there so we're just going to take the scissors I cut that off. Pull the plastic off 
And there we have our little mini candle, which we can then set down inside of here. And there we have our candle lantern. Just swing this in. Like I said you may have to adjust it some. You close it up, and there you go. Okay, so here we have our candle lantern, and the uh, way that's made, it can hold up to three candles. As you can see, a little book of matches, and there we have a complete set. Now each one of these candles, even though they're relatively small, and like I said, I just got them at Walmart, but they will burn for about an hour and 15 minutes long, all the way down. So there's three hours and 45 minutes worth of light. And then to use this, you simply set it like that. Of course, this is not only a reflector, but it's also a bit of a windbreak. We've got a lot of wind out here today. And of course, just as soon as I start to light this, the wind kicks up. So we'll give her another go here. I may have to try a different angle. The wind's coming from this direction. So we'll go ahead and turn this and move the camera. All right managed to move it over and get a little block from the wind and so you can see again with the candles some matches and uh, situated just so it will actually help protect it from the wind and it's reflective enough inside that uh, you know get a bit of a reflection into camp when you're done, blow it out, swing it to the inside, and again, I like to put one down, one up like this, put your matches inside, small, compact, and uh, very useful. Stick this in your pack and you're good to go. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And don't forget to press the bell button to stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.